the juice box stratification chamber. And the juice box stratification chamber is going to be used in a lot of our builds this year. He took a smaller pipe and put it down inside like this. And so then well, what happens is, is that the hot gases follow the top here pretty closely. And then when the colder gases get displaced and pushed down, well, this thing is already acting like a straw in a juice box and sucking it out of the bottom. So we have a four inch piece of stovepipe going inside an eight inch duct about an inch and a half off of the bottom. And you look at the temperature up here and you look at the temperature down here, you'll find the temperature up here is a lot hotter. If you go and point and click on that barrel over there right now, if we had a roaring fire right now, I imagine that the temperature at the top would be something about 700 degrees and the stuff at the bottom would be like 200, 250. I was yes. going to say, has it been tested at all? Or? You're going to test it! Test this is exciting! Test We're it. scientists! We started with a four inch vertical exhaust with six and a half inches of stratification. The system ran unacceptably slow. We switched to a six inch vertical exhaust and about four inches of stratification, and this worked great. This is a huge improvement over what we all did before, which was an eight inch vertical exhaust with zero stratification. Maybe we get only half the efficiency benefits we were shooting for, but that's still an improvement.